Hey, this is Alex and Jack from Tax the Heat. You're watching Underkill TV. Welcome to Underkill TV here in Cardiff, Club Iverbach. Joined with Alex and Jack from Taxi Heat. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. You all right, Jack? Good to see you. Very well, thank you. Yeah, all good. And you're about to kick off the UK tour, um, starting here tonight. Uh, where's that taking you through? Is it taking you all through the UK and up Scotland? It's just a really, uh, a really small run of playing some places we've never really got to play. Like, we haven't actually ever done a gig in Cardiff, where we are tonight. Um, because we tend to do, uh, I don't know, you tend to, when you're doing a tour, you tend to do circuit places like Bristol and yeah. things like that. So it's a great opportunity to come and play some new places. Um, and we're going, where are we going? All over. Nuneaton, Leeds. Um, uh, and then down to Exeter for the last show. So it's all basically, we did a um, tour uh, in support of the album that we released earlier this year. And it's, we just wanted to do a few places that we didn't get to do on that tour earlier this year. And we've always really wanted to do a, a show in Cardiff. Um, so we kind, of, uh, we kind of put this one in and doing a few other shows uh, around that as well. So, and I, I've seen a few of my favourite gigs over the years here in Club I For Back. So it's nice to be here playing tonight. So. Excellent stuff, and that's what we we're going to say. You're out still promoting your current album, which has had a lot of support. Even a single's had a good, lot of good support through, like Planet Rock and things like that. Can you tell everybody, the viewers, what the album title is and where they can check it out? Uh, the album's called Change Your Position, and uh, it's out all over the place. You can get it. Your local record shop would be the first port of call, and online. And you can, if you stream stuff, you can stream it. Um, and it's yeah, it's had a really great response. But we kind of feel like we're still. We've, it's still got a lot of life to it, and we want to yeah, keep yeah. keep taking it all over the place, really, in this this way. And would you say it's a slight? I mean, it's still got the sound from your previous offerings, Jai. It's it's slightly different to your other offerings, like you know, it's a different direction, but you can still sort of hear the the influence of the classic genres of rock in it. I think it's really we feel like it's a natural progression for us. Um, it's something that we don't necessarily think about too uh, too kind of closely when we go we we just when we write songs we just write the songs that we want to hear really um, and we're just trying to make stuff that we would really like to listen to and so in terms of the the sort of difference between the first album and this one I think that's just a natural thing for us really we know each other a lot better now as uh, as a group of, of four guys and um, and that's just something that came naturally through the way we were writing those tunes, um, and we and you know we were just really happy to hear some of those uh, some of the kind of vibes that we got out of this the um, songs that we were making for this album, um, and that's how that came about. And I mean the video um, was a fantastic video, really really greatly made and everything. Uh, so anybody that wants to check anything like that out, just YouTube Tax the Heat. Yeah yeah, yeah you, YouTube yeah. Can you head to, sorry, Jack? Sorry. Head to taxtheheat.com and uh, you'll be able to find all the links from there. Yeah. Excellent stuff. And um, um, what are the plans? I mean, yeah, we're right at the end of 2018 now. What's the plans for you guys? Are we going to see any more shows perhaps into next year? Is there anything planned, anything in the pipeline? So far, um, the only thing that's in the calendar is the Mot the Hoople tour. We're going out on the road with Mot the Hoople, which is fantastic and amazing opportunity for us. Yeah, Such a legendary band, and to be asked to do it is a real honour. So we're doing those shows in April, which fantastic venues all over the UK. Um, and then hopefully some of our own dates and festivals as well. Um, we're hoping to announce a few things soon. Um, but yeah, just excited to be doing as much as we can, really. Sort of stay tuned, stay tuned to all the information. Give them a like on Facebook, give them a follow on Twitter, and keep up to date with everything that's happening. I was saying about that, Jack, it must be really humbling to go out with a band such a status as Mott the Hoople, is it? It is a great opportunity for us. Uh, it was really nice to find out that we had that, that tour. 
we're all really looking forward to the shows. You know, what what else can we say? We've kind of been waiting for something to come along, really, and it's uh, really nice for us that something like that has come along. We get to do something. We're going to do some more of our own shows uh, around, you know, uh, towards the the middle of next year, and some festivals and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll be back around. We'll be doing as many shows as we can again next year. So yeah, absolutely. And going back to that, I mean, the the other thing as well, it, it's not y- your regular run of shows. They're pretty pretty big venues, to, and as you say, it's it's great to to land those supports. It must. What, what other venues that are you, you're playing all together through April then? Um, so I know for a fact we're doing two nights at Shepherd's Bush, which is incredible. Uh, we've played there a, a couple of times, um, and that that's ago. yeah a little while ago. So it's good to go back there. And obviously, it's the anniversary of their kind of very famous tour where they had Queen as a support band as well. So it's it's pretty cool to be, I don't know, in in that world to some extent. Um, so yeah, we're doing that. We're we're doing um, we're playing in Birmingham. We're doing Glasgow. What's the one in Glasgow? That's that's a pretty legendary venue too. Um, isn't it? Is it Barrowlands? Yeah, it we is. are doing Barrowlands. Barrowlands. We're doing uh, the Sage in Newcastle, uh, which is a lovely venue, and uh, Symphony Hall in Birmingham. Wow. Yeah, it should be it should be a great great run of shows. Yeah, yeah. Real legendary places to play. So yeah, we're gonna look forward to that for sure. Excellent stuff. Well, guys, I know uh, you're going to be sort of taking to the stage in, in an hour or two's time, so I do appreciate you taking the time out and giving us some of your time to, to chat to us. We've, and We've done our best to concentrate on our answers with the dub bass in the background that you probably, you probably can't hear out there, but coming from the other venue in here, we're doing our best to concentrate on what we're saying with the dub bass in the background. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's yeah, it's great you've, you've taken the time out for us. It's, it's always a pleasure to chat to, to yourself, Jack, and, and you know to t- t- chat to the band as well. You know, it's, it's always good. Uh, as I say, those that really want to check the band out, please follow them on Facebook. Give them a uh, follow them on Twitter. Give them a like on Facebook, uh, and hopefully they'll be playing next year near yourself. This is Alistair from Underkill TV. The guys from Taxa Heat. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot.